Yeah. I've just got in uh, from work and I've received a great message from Andy which says the tank is here. I've not had a chance to look at the photos because I've just received it, but um, so I'm gonna grab my gear, I'm gonna head over and I'm gonna introduce you to the new tank. Let's go. It's time. Is he gone? Hello? Andy? We're closed! <laughs> right, can I come in? Come in. You're good afternoon. It is after hours. Nice. How's You're things? Right, yeah, yeah, good mate. Good Got work. your message? Yes, yes, we have a tank. It's uh, looking stunning as well. Can we? I, I really have to see it. But I want to see the tank. That's cool. Come on, come on. Let's, Let's go, go see the tank. <laughs> wow. Look at that. No way. That's well bigger than I thought it was going to be. NBM Aquarium Design have sponsored us with this tank. This is awesome. This looks like my first ever tank, but on a massive scale. It is a stunning tank. It is a thousand by 800 by 450. So it's quite a big lagoon. That's huge. And it's, uh, it's a stunning little thing, isn't it? To decide what we're doing, don't we? Right, let's uh, switch cameras and get into it. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. new tank day. It's new tank new day. New tank day. Uh, Look at this beauty. Unbelievable. How are you doing? I'm all right. You've had a good week? Busy. Busy, busy. You? Yeah, really good, really good. We've had a busy week. Uh, hi, guys. Um, my name's Andy from Radical Reefs up in Leeds. Radical Aquatics up in Leeds. It used to be Radical Reefs, but anyway, Radical Reefers. Terrible. Terrible. And you are? Stefan, the Yorkshire Reefer based in... Yorkshire. Yorkshire. Yeah. <laughs> Who does the best tea? Yorkshire. Yorkshire, and definitely. Who does the best salt water? So, I can't go into that. We do good salt water. We do good salt water. With the Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Yorkshire. That's an easy one. In Yorkshire. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, what are we doing Andy, today? we're doing this today. This was a, such a great surprise. The beautiful, let's give it some space. Last week I said, oh, well, let's call it the box. And you were like, no. <laughs> we Absolutely not. That. This is um, our new tank, probably sponsored by MBM for the YouTube channel, which is great. Thanks, Mick, as well. Appreciate this. Thanks, really dude. Good. Um, we are going to do today's episode. Yes. How to set it up from nothing. scratch. From nothing. Yeah. Just... So as if it's just coming to your house like this, you've set it up, you've put the level on it. And this level. Yes, it's level. That's good. <laughs> there we go. So <laughs> that's the main thing. <laughs> and before you obviously fill a tank up, we want to kind of plan what we're doing. Now, you guys will have clearly probably been thinking about this for quite some time you've gone oh what am i going to escape it with even down to is it going bare bottom with no sand or am i putting sand in it because i'm going to be keeping lots of different things like rasses for instance clean yeah, crew yeah, yeah i mean there's loads of stuff I'm and this will have sand i'm a big fan of sand we have sand and washing. the sand is washing in the back now yeah. as, it, as you can see so, so andy's got the sand washing we've got the tank in it's on the stand Obviously, I love scaping, but we've just put these beautiful pieces in, Andy, from... Do you know what? It's Art Reef Rock, yeah. Yeah, which BC UK are distributing in, in the UK at the moment. So you can oh. buy it off any retailer that's basically using BC UK. But they come in really, really nice kind yeah, of yeah. formations that you build yourself. I actually want to put a bigger one in, mate. So when you're looking at your scape, obviously that looks... Yeah, there's one forward and one back. Yeah, yeah. But we want a bit of height, don't we? Yeah. So I, I want to build... A central piece here that's going to overhang and then i want some nice sort of mangroves and something popping out the back and yeah these are really cool pieces to start with i mean you, yeah what a great idea for people who can't you know don't necessarily know how to skip this. well it's not even that i mean you can go down the route of marco rock and things like that and make your own skate but these are pretty cool our red sea display in the shop is made with those is it yeah it's got the right. um it's got the artery from one of the things that is great about this tech oh what are you doing there i've just seen how it works i've never seen this before yeah, they, they come off i mean this is great look at this yeah, yeah. okay so we have a platform with a little thing that's was... really cool so you can mix them around a bit nothing good happens quick in this hobby yeah, yeah. Fortunately. yeah so basically we need to do everything a little bit slow a little bit patiently it's going to be beautiful thank you darling okay <laughs> i've just done it again haven't i good luck with the uh, campaign yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, all the prison sentence there we go what i really like about this is and you'll know my first tank was a similar tank to this uh with uh, an all-in-one design but on a much smaller scale i think it was a 50 gallon so all in one design yeah. means you'll Two. get a lot of tanks where they have the sump underneath in the cabinet or an all in one you have the sump on the back. 
a lot of people seem to be going for the all-in-ones at the moment. Yeah, I've got the all-in-one as well, with the little small red, red seam. Yeah, Maxana. and yeah. They, some people love them, some people want the space of having a sump yeah. for extra things. Because yeah. it's not great for, I'm um, giving an example, you could put a small skimmer in there, but you can't put a great big giant Nios one, for instance, no. in there. Um, also, it doesn't allow you much manoeuvring for stuff like a, a, huge, a refuge. <laughs> Refuge. A refugium. A refugium. <laughs> I was just literally going to put like a grouper in there and just leave it. But no, it's obviously not going to happen. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Again. Yeah. We need a name for the tank as well. We've not named the tank. Um, it says MBM on it. So Mubbubum. Mubbubum. I think we put it out for suggestions. I think that would be a good start. The Steve. box. The box. We'll find some of it. You guys come up with a name. Yeah. Okay. And what we'll do, we'll put the name of the tank somewhere. You've... Um, You've got your tank like this, okay, you've planned your scape out, okay, and what we need to do now is get your scape. I need to replace this rock quickly. Okay. So that's what I'm so going to do. you only replace the rock? I'll take my microphone off me, otherwise I might go to the loo and have a wheel. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good idea to get this tank set up whilst it's dry with the rock in it to get an idea of what it's going to look like. What I will say is, what it looks like now is a little bit different to when you've got water in it because it's magnified. So I did this with my uh, floating reef. I put a little bit too much rock in and it just went and was way different to how it looked when it was empty. So Andy's going to put a bigger piece in, which I think he's coming now. Are you all right there? I can't get through. Do you want to let me come and get that? I'll get it. There you go, you grab it. Are we all right? It's nice. Cool. This is nice. Uh, put down. Put down, yeah. Andy's back. What I was saying is, it's good to do this so you get an idea of what your tank's going to look like. Yeah. But when the water's in, it looks much bigger. It does, and, and one of the things is, if you get your scape sorted now, kind of planned out before you put the water in, it makes things a lot easier as well, because when you're trying to move stuff around after you put the water in, it can be a bit of a nightmare. You yeah. don't want to be moving stuff around ideally while the tank's cycling. Okay, no, no. just not a good thing to do, full stop. Got a starting point, and that's the main thing. Yeah. We can see that this is going to look really cool. We've got a plan for fish in there. You know, we've got a plan for the type of corals we're going to put in. It's going to be pretty much softy and LPS dominated, mixed reef. Yeah. You agree with me? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So we need to go through kind of the next couple of weeks now, which will be other episodes of setting this up. But I think we should get the sand in. We'll get the sand in now. Getting through there might be a problem. I'll go get it, pass it to you. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, ah, sand. <sighs> I have got the sand. Oh my God, that's heavy. Now, the reason we put the rocks in first, just so you're aware, guys, and rocks go on the glass base because you have things that like to dig within this hobby. And if you look at the base, if it digs and moves, things could fall over. You don't want your tank cracking in the middle of the night because your scape's falling over. So make sure you put it onto yes. the base. Also, make sure when you've got your scape, you leave enough room for your um, algae scraper to go down the side. Yeah, oh. clowns home. Yeah. Clowns like to host. Your clown would like to host an algae <laughs> scraper. Also, think about the floor. You want enough room for floor to move through the rocks. That's why I like these. Do you know why yeah. I like these? Because it's not just a big pile of rocks. So when you're thinking about the flow in your tank, I mean, this one's got a random flow generator. Beautiful, beautiful random flow generator. It's a beautiful thing. It really is. Yeah, yeah. One of the things I'd say to you is, in my experience, mm -hmm. that still won't be enough flow for the tank. Definitely not. So I'm tank. thinking no. about putting an MP10 on it. By Ecotech. The reason I've said an Ecotech MP10 is because, in my opinion, that's one of the best wave makers that are out there. I'm not being biased. It's you know, it's a straight up fact. We agree and, absolutely. And I, I love, like. I love the Ecotech. Do you know why stuff, I like yeah. it as well? It's because the wires on the outside. It's clean. clean. Yeah. It's clean. You look at my tanks. There's no wires in there. It's clean. There are other brands as well, obviously as well. Yes. But I think I would have to say we solidly agree on that. I use them for my systems and I'm glad we use them for this. But yep. Let's get the sand in. Let's, yep. um, yeah, let's get the sand in and yeah, we'll go from there. The reason I've gone for that size is because if you go too fine, it blows around in the tank and you end up with like bare bottom hole everywhere. And also great for things like pistol shrimps to build their burrows with, you know, all, anything that's building a house, yeah, in the sand bed, this stuff's pretty good for doing that with because it kind of sticks together and clubs together really well. So don't go too fine unless you really want to. So, try, Andy said to make sure that the rock is flat and try to kind of put the sand 
around the rock so it's supporting the base yes. as well because you don't want it to fall over right so there's your sand it's so cool so, so the sand is in yeah so you guys will be doing this at home setting your first tank up sand's in rocks in there's other things that we need to plan now which we're going to do in the next episode which is things like um the bio media that you're running these things are cool. So Max Beck do them. The bio balls that they do, the spheres. The great thing about these is there's so much surface area in such a small space. They hold a lot of your bacteria that are really useful within the reef tank. Yep. Um, I'm going to go into bacteria, how important it is in the kind of next episode. So this is us in the first hour of getting your tank home. <laughs> You've got the tank, it's on the stand, the sand's in. And this is everything else. Don't eat them. <laughs> Don't eat my balls. It's not important to wash your balls regularly as well. Yeah, it's important to... <laughs> it's important to wash your balls regularly. It is important to wash your balls regularly. You know, because they do get blocked up. It's good to rinse them. So... <laughs> There's no easy way of telling you this. Just wash your balls. Anyway. So, next week, Andy, um, worth mentioning that these videos that we're doing are going to drop at... So they're going to drop at 8 o'clock every Friday. When you're all partying. When you're all part... Why are we doing it then then? Because everybody's out drinking and getting drunk. Oh no, this is aimed at the older clientele, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I'm... Yeah, I'm bored <laughs> of it now. <laughs> the next one we'll be doing, we'll be getting the tank wet. Get it really wet. <laughs> For the next hour of getting your reef tank home, You'll be getting water in it, salt water. I see, I said it without saying wet. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be getting water in it, and that's what we'll be doing next week. I mean, I think, you know, everything to do with choosing the heater, choosing your light, choosing your wave maker, choosing your return pump, you know, down to even choosing your bio media, and choosing how, you know, your mechanical filtration, everything to do with it, skimmer the lot, yeah, everything. we're gonna cover. Yes. Yeah, and I can't wait. But this is all over the next few weeks. So thank you to everybody that subscribed to the channel so far. Yeah, 55. Really impressed. 55, yeah. It's wow. like we're on the road to 1,000. <laughs> no, that's amazing. But no, guys, thank you. Yeah. Seriously, and some people have engaged with comments. Uh, we really appreciate it. Definitely. And you know what? This is really important to me and you. It really is. We want to do this to save you the headache and heartache that we've had. All we ask of you is that you're patient. Yeah, be patient. Be patient. So we're doing this as a weekly episode thing yeah but we're only gonna do it in bite-sized chunks big thanks to mick from mbm aquariums for um gifting us this it will have a name soon drop us a comment as to any suggestions you have for a name i'm happy so give us a like give us a subscribe and you stay classy san diego <laughs> <laughs>